it's really bizarre because, you know, on some days you feel like you feel the the history and you feel like you've been here forever. And then other days you feel like it hasn't been 14 years. You feel like it's flown by. I think it's the same with kids. Mm -hmm. Like some days feel long and hard and then other days feel like, oh my God, you were just a baby. And Life. Yeah, time is, is an interesting tip -talk, concept. Tip -talk. <laughs> Being directed by Denzel Washington was certainly a highlight. I've said it a hundred times. For him to walk these halls was, was pretty awe-inspiring for all of us. I mean, he's basically the greatest to ever do it, right? So um, one of the greatest to Debbie's ever do great. it. I mean, you know, De Niro, Pacino, wow. Denzel. There's only a couple uh, at that level. Yeah. Um, He's a movie icon. It, it, and so, you know, that was pretty, I would say, yeah. And, and we get to work with Debbie Allen every day. She's you know, got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Debbie does. <laughs> does she? I've walked past it quite a few times. Um, it's a big deal. You know, and, and she too is, is an icon and um, is just this really really incredible force that I, I words can't even describe her you, you really have to experience Debbie is an experience you know and what she's been through in this industry and and how she's catapulted herself and her life and she still finds the time to give back and she's the most positive person I know and um, so I, I get touched on a daily basis by by basking in her glow <laughs> Also, the audience gets inspired to go into medicine. We've yes. been on so long, there were young people that now are in medicine for college, and it's uh, to know that we've had an effect on their lives and inspired them to become medical, which is so important, because we all have to deal with life and death, correct? Or illness. Um, that, that keeps us rolling. It happens quite frequently, not to sound arrogant, but more than you think, of people being able to uh, know, that, you know, specifically mothers with their children, you know, getting sort of brushed away at the pediatrician's office, like it's a fever, it's a cold, it's not a big deal. And I have so many letters and have heard so many stories about mothers who said, I know this is not a cold, I know this is something more. And they persisted and they pushed and they went and got other opinions and they found out that their children had you know, life-threatening illnesses that they could catch in time because of an episode of Grey's Anatomy. Definitely classic Grey's, and we um, pay homage to every character that's walked through the doors, all of the cast members that we love and miss. And um, they did it in a really cool way, so I think the audience is going to like it because it's funny and, uh, and heartfelt like every episode, but, well, not every episode is funny, but most episodes are heartfelt. But um, they did it in a really creative way. We, we, we you know, saluted all of the, the cast members past and present, and um, it was fun for the writers to get to do the 300th, or special episodes for them are fun. They always come up with good themes. This show created a movement. I think it's much more than a television show, which is why it's easy to stay here 14 years because it's much bigger than just a TV show. We have moved uh, a culture and- um, And guess who's directing? She <laughs> just directed an episode and she was hip. I mean, she really, <laughs> really nailed it, so. I should hope so after all this time. I know, time. right? But see, I, I've been here all this time and I forget what lights to look at, what. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember my lines and listen to the other actor. That's what ha happens when you're that handsome, it's debilitating. Oh, my tooth hurts. That's too sweet. <laughs>